Yo, yeah, what's up, man? King Kimo, part live from the six, man. I'm smoking a personal sweet with hot dog TV. Gang shit. Smoke a personal sweet with hot dog TV. Y'all know what the fuck we doing, man. Hot dog TV, niggas hot in the beach, man. I'm smoking a personal sweet with hot dog TV. Well, you know, we always started off with the good old, what's your name, who we here with? She got your King Kimo, pull it out from the six. Voice of the trap. Yeah, man. Six shit, no bitch shit, fuck around, be a lick shit. Pull up, we hit shit, one miss shit. And for like the people that don't know about the six, what exactly is that and how long have you been living on? A lot of people consider the whole Greens point as a six, but that's technically not the situation type shit, feel me? Like, it's just our specific session. And that's it's dedicated to my nigga Real. I lost my, I lost my partner back in 2015. That was like one of the first times I really just lost somebody close to me type shit like that. So and he was shit, he was Lil, Lil Real number six type shit. So we really just feel me name the hood after him type shit. And then shit, that's just where it came from. I've been standing in the six though, but I start, I moved, I moved to that side of Green's Point like like 2012, 13, cause at first the shit really started on 1400 and I heard OJ talking about this shit in his last interview like that's where we was at before we moved to that side of Greens Point type shit where everybody used to be on 1400, that's how I know OJ and that's really where we all met, that's where I met Pee Wee at, shit a lot of niggas really like feel me. I've been knowing y'all and them before that shit. Y'all and them been knowing me since I was a kid. But I mean, Pee Wee, when we was like, I was in eighth grade. I was like eighth grade, years, so I was like 13, 14 type shit. But we had, I had ended up moving to the other side of Greens Point type shit. And then it was just too hot on the parkway. It was just too hot on 1400. So niggas just started migrating to the other side. They just started coming to come fuck with me and shit. And that's where that shit just took off. And we just kept that shit going. Yeah, yeah, so is the north side kind of where you were born and raised? Uh, you know, what was like the community like for you growing up and how did it play a part for you? Shit, like, all right, uh, I was originally, I'm, I'm originally, I'm born in Atlanta. A lot of people, no. shit, if you know me, you know me, like, feel me? If you know me, then you'll know that. Like, I was born in Atlanta. I moved out here when, I moved out here in 2007. So I was like 10, 9 years old type shit. My daddy always was staying out here. After my daddy and my mama broke up, they ended up splitting up and shit. My mama ended up staying in Atlanta. My daddy, he worked for uh for the airport type shit. So they used to have that nigga doing all kind of job transfers and shit. So when he had, he was in New York at first, they transferred him to Atlanta, and then they had transferred him from Atlanta to Houston type shit. So. My daddy was already staying down here like five years before I even moved out here type shit. So I always used to come down here. Like I always been, since a young nigga, five years old, I always was coming down here and shit. But then shit, some shit ended up happening. Nigga was, you know, I was staying with my mama. She's single mama. Shit, three kids, two boys at that. Me and my brother, we was always into shit. So my mama just ended up moving us with my pops and then shit. Just, I, that's when I moved out here in 2007, then shit. Yeah. I just adapted to this shit real quick. I adapted to the shit real quick. Cause it's kinda different, but Atlanta and Houston, that shit really the same. It's different in, in other ways, but that shit really the same. But I could just say I adapted to this shit quick and just took it from that type shit. So but growing up, it was cool though. Like I could say this. It's like when my mom and my daddy was together type shit. Everything was cool. You know, you a kid, you going through shit, but you don't really just understand the shit. You just really just focus on the love and shit inside the house and shit, type shit like that. Like, you ain't just too worried about all kind of other extra shit you going on. Shit really fun to us back then, but as niggas started getting older, I started realizing shit. My mama, she a, my mama motherfucking hustler for real. I ain't gonna lie, like, I done seen her, like, we was living in the hood, shit. Then my mama, feel me, she ended up getting her some little money. Ran it up, we, had, we was living in a nice little house and shit. Trying to, she trying to take us out the hood and shit. But that shit only lasted so long. I could probably say like three years out of the 10 years that I was living in Atlanta, we was living luxury like type shit, but the shit was cool while it lasted.
Cause I, like I said, I, I had the best of both worlds. I done stayed with my mama and I done stayed with my daddy. Shit, some years with my mama we was living good and shit. Some years we was fucked up type shit. So I mean, it it affected me for sure. Cause it, I'm I'm born first. I'm seeing my daddy every day and then shit. Some time go on and then I'm seeing her. He not around like that and shit like that. Feel me? So shit, I, I was always curious. Like I wasn't just never just. Like, it ain't just affect me too, too much. I was always curious to, like, what was going on, type shit. But as I got older, shit, I started realizing the shit that was going on. Like, what's wrong with my daddy, type shit. I just took the good with the bad. If that make, that makes sense, type shit. Like, mm -hmm. I just took the good with the bad. And then, shit. That shit made me who I am today, though. I can say that, for sure. It made me who I am today, because, shit, I done got some game from my mama. And then I done got... All kind of game for my pops, like that nigga taught me, that nigga taught me everything, like 